Storm along died a long time ago. Walk him along, carry him along. He's gone where the stormy winds don't blow. Carry him to his burying ground. I wish old Stormy's son had built me a ship 10,000 ton. I'd load her down with island rum, and every shellback would have some. Lower him down with a golden chain, and on every link carved his name. Stormy was a big man, eight foot tall if he was a foot, and the ship he captained was bigger than any ever built, the Merry Dun of Dover. Dover was her name and her deck was so long they used to horses in relays to carry the orders from the storm to the forecastle. A horse was stationed at every mast, Pony Express-like, so the messenger could charge along the way because no one horse could make the distance. It took her seven years just to come about. Sailors went skipping up the mast into the clouds and by the time they came down, they were gray-haired old men. The masts were so tall they had hinges on them just to let the moon and the stars pass by. Being a top man aboard Mary Dunn wasn't a bad life. They had taverns in the blocks to sustain a man when he was off watch. One time she was making her way up the English Channel, she scraped a regiment of soldiers off the cliffs of Dover with her hand booms, while her spanker boom was still above forts in Calais. That channel passage was a tight squeeze, the channel being 22 miles wide, and the Merry Dunn's beam being 21 miles, 5,275 foot. On account of it being low tide, she got stuck heading north. So Stormy came up with a plan. He greased the port side up with white soap and slipped right on through. You can still see the soap on the cliffs of Dover today. White as chalk they are. On her last trip to the Indian Ocean, she met a typhoon, the likes of which no man had seen before. She just took up the courses, flushed the whales, washed the board out of her scuppers, and made for Ceylon. she went down to Davy Jones. It was the Lodestown Mountain that did it. Round the Indian Oceans, sailors stitched their boats together with thread and wooden pegs because of Lodestown Mountain. I reckon Stormy didn't know that, or if he did, he didn't care. Because all the nails were pulled straight out of the Merry Dun in the twinkling of an eye. She fell to pieces, sank like a stone, and Stormy with her too. No, there's never been another sailor like old Storm Along John, and no ship quite like the Merry Dun. And that's the truth.
Thank you very much. On flute is Mr. Paul Chinois. You can buy CDs by Paul over here after our presentation.